What's up you guys, it's Jano Hey you guys What's up you guys, it's Jano here I'm gonna do a little video on Justin's base Shout out to Justin Justin has been doing some really cool things in the TH3 range You can see he is working up to Crystal League he was even trying to join this really cool clan that was all TH3 Crystal Leaguers. And uh, if those guys are watching, I forget what their name was, but man, they, uh, they're they cool. And I really want Justin to get in there and I want to screenshot all their bases. They're all like masters in TH3. I just think that that's hilarious and it's kind of cool and it takes a lot of time. So I have some respect for that. All right, so this is just Justin's base. He's got a TH sniper base. He's been TH sniping a lot. It's just a really simple base that he did. I think it's kind of funny. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next base design, and we'll go from there. All right, cool. All right, you guys, I am back again. I have got Justin's maxed out TH3 base here. Now, this one I'm going to call Squiggly Snake because it looks kind of like a squiggly snake. I like this base design because TH3 is so simple that that actually makes it really hard to make a good base design. You don't have very many objects on the map that have high hit points, and if you want to guard your uh, elixir and your gold, then you really only have the army camps and the town hall and the clan castle to protect you in terms of high health buildings that will distract the enemy. Now this uh, town hall has about a thousand or what's it got? Uh, 1850 hit points and then you can see that the clan castle has a thousand and let's see the army camps each have 600 so those are pretty high buildings. Let's go ahead and look at these guys. 1500 hit points and I'm guessing this is also going to be 1500 hit points. So you can see those are pretty high health buildings. Now look at this 400. You know that the mortar has less health than an army camp. Uh, same thing with the cannons 550. So that's a pretty good amount. That's why the cannons are on the outside, the mortars on the inside. Also uh, the archer tower 500. It actually has some decent health, but we want to have a couple of our defenses inside to make sure that they're protecting us. Now, he's got the clan castle inside, that's also protecting the mortar. People could come in from this side, but there's a number of buildings to get through. So any way you look at it, people are going to have to spend some time to get to this mortar. And given that there's not a lot of buildings to protect the mortar, he's really done a good job on this. So I'm happy with it. That's why I decided to record it for you guys. You can see he does have everything maxed out. Uh, it looks kind of piddly, but you know, this is it. This is a maxed out TH3 base. So all you guys who are at TH3, I do think this is going to be a pretty good winner for you. All right, I'm going to move on to the next one. Alright you guys, this is going to be the last video for this little TH3 maxed out base design compilation. This is another farming base from Justin on his uh, maxed out TH3 farming base, of course. And you can see that he's got his town hall over here with these kind of goofy walls. You know, I don't love this, but there's really not much you can do. And uh, it kind of keeps people moving around. Uh, I don't know. There, there's really not much you can do on a TH3. What I like the most is actually everything buried in the center. I like that it's symmetrical, so everything kind of has the same placement on both sides. Uh, I also like that he's protecting a lot of his base with the clan castle, which I think is important. Um, I am okay with having the clan castle on the outer edge because it's kind of a building that will distract people, and it's in range of the mortar, so that works. Uh, this is not the best base design I've ever seen, but it is a really good base design, so that's why I went ahead and recorded it for you guys. It's got all the resources in the middle, and they're well protected by all the defenses, which are also in the middle. And that's really the best you can do on TH3 if you're trying to farm. Protect your resources, protect your defenses, and then get uh, some of the buildings that are a little bit higher health like these on the outside. Most people do attack from the bottom left and the top right over here, this side and this side, so he's got a pretty good layout of people if they, if they come from that way. Now if anybody comes from this way they're gonna have kind of an easy time but you know everything's in range of the mortar so there's really not much else you can do. Alright you guys that's the video. I hope everybody enjoyed it and coming up next is gonna be a bonus raid. High level Balloonian from Chris. Enjoy! Yo, 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 you guys, this is the bonus raid. This is from my buddy Chris, who has just now been promoted to co-leader. Congratulations, Chris. Sorry that you didn't make it into this war. I'm really bummed about that. I'm sure you are, too, so we'll just leave that at that. But Chris did this really awesome raid, and uh, he basically got a lot of resources out of this guy. Really good raid. I wish I could zoom out and show you guys more of the action. 
Uh, this guy has got his uh, his collectors full. There was a ton of loot available. I really wish he would have had a uh, a farming army because it would have done a lot better than the army that he had. But he used it really well. He used the balloons to distract and take out some of the defenses that are going to be problematic for him. And then he ran in the minions behind. Once uh, the you know the troops are distracted, he throws in the minions, let them do their work. So uh, he also did a pretty nice rage there. I was really hoping he would get this um, art, this uh, air defense over there, but he didn't end up getting it. That would have been sweet. Wouldn't have had anything to worry about for the rest of the way over here, but uh, it didn't work out. But he still got a whole lot of loot. So this is your bonus raid. Nice little 50% there. All right, you guys. Peace.